Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel and today we are going to start the new topic that is the method of safe disposal of vestiges. In the previous video we have already discussed the causes and the problems related to it. Before we move on to the video students please subscribe my channel and do hit the bell icon for the necessary update in the future. So the causes for the generation of the vestiges were the increase in population, advancement in technology and the throw away attitude of the people. So because if now the vestiges are not disposed of properly then it will create numerous environmental and medical problems which we are already facing like the global warming different kind of health issues and all etc isn't it so the waste problems or the various methods also has been adopted in order to the safe disposal of waste material some of the methods are as follows segregation dumping composting drainage and treatment of effluents before discharge incineration and the use of scrubbers so those are the things which we are going to discuss here however students one thing it is there we cannot stop generating the waste but we can control over it so first method is the segregation this means separating or the sorting of wastes solid waste contains the various types of waste material most of the organic waste is biodegradable similarly certain waste such as metals can be reused or recycled so segregation of waste at the waste generation level itself helps in grouping the various types of waste thus it saves a lot effort money and the time okay now this segregation process or the separating or the sorting of the waste can be followed from the home itself okay from by for a say, simple example in kitchen we can keep the separate dustbins okay for the wet waste or the dry waste wet waste means the organic dry waste means the inorganic okay so we can keep the separate dustbins for it as a result the wet wastages can be decomposed later and can be used as a manure in the home gardening also dry wastages we can reduce it we can recycle it or we can reuse those dry waste also okay so in that way we can you know uh, reduce some amount of organic wastages from the beginning itself so municipal corporation also has urged the residents to use the separate dustbins of for solid wastages that is green for the wet waste and blue for the dry waste next is the dumping method which is the oldest and the cheapest method of disposal of the waste where the site is selected far off from the residential areas and all the urban wastages is collected and throw are dumped into those sites now it will lead to the various other kinds of problems like it will spoil the beauty of the environment it will produce foul order due to the decomposition the dumping site becomes a breeding ground of flies mosquitoes insects which spread the disease as an epidemics burning of those waste material pollutes the air and may spread the toxic fumes or smoke and the rainwater or the runoff from this dumping ground may carry the pollutants or the toxic material okay and which may spread in the surrounding areas leading to the uh, soil pollution or the water pollution also so to overcome those problems the method of sanitary landfill is also adopted for the safe disposal such are also called the dumping disposal of the waste okay so a small video representation is there let us go through it so first a depression or a peat is dug out by removing the topsoil okay after that a thin layer of plastic or synthetic plastic is kept at the base to prevent the leakage it is also termed as bottom liner okay now after that what is done is the wastages can be dumped into it those wastages are crushed by using the crushing machine specialized machine okay then after that a pipe is also fitted to it so that the liquid wastages okay after the decomposition which occurs can be separated can be taken out another pipe is also fit where the methane gas coming out from the decomposition of those wastages can be stored in a tank through that the heat is generated now that heat can be converted into electricity also understood so those landfills are also covered up with the pile or a thin layer of clay and the topsoil as also a plastic coating is also done so that when the rainfall occurs or the storm occurs a specialized pipes are also fitted so that the rainwater or the surface water can easily drain out okay properly so that there is no leakage of the water so 
ideal method of the disposal of the solid waste people also often like how to you know, get rid of the organic matters or the organic waste okay so the different disposal method is there the best answer for it is composting method so composting is a natural process which converts the organic waste materials into the dark substances and this material is also called compost or humus okay so it is a very wonderful conditioner to enrich the soil fertility composting is a very useful and eco-friendly method of safe disposal of the waste so it can be followed in every household okay and uh, we can separate like the segregation process can be followed in order to separate the wastages and the organic wastages can be decomposed separately by using the composting method so that we can utilize it for the home gardening and kitchen garden so it can be followed anywhere any place by digging out a small depression or preparing a box also we can made it after that we can you know like put all the ingredients into that box we need to add water also okay in order to you know make the ingredients damp keep the ingredients damp and wet okay so we have to keep on you know moving the ingredients properly or we have to move the organic matters properly so that the air can lead it and speed up the process after that the nature will do the work on its own we have to wait for a few months uh, the black dark dry substance is obtained which can be utilized in the organic matter as, as matter. organic manure so advantage is this process converts the waste products into useful manure it is eco-friendly no pollution replaces the soil with nutrients very useful for the organic farming the quality of the farm products is enhanced by use of such manures nowadays the composting has become very popular in every household also Next method is the drainage and the treatments of effluent before discharge. So treatment of effluents before discharging it into the water, both industrial and domestic, is very essential because it may contain undesirable components which is harmful to the human health as well as environment. So in this process, generally three different stages are, uh, you know, uh, performed or utilized through the water is passed through there are the primary secondary and tertiary uh, processes okay so now let us uh, understand what are those treatments so before the primary treatment begins there is the preliminary stage that is the screening stage in which the iron bars or the mess of nets are used in order to separate the solid materials from the water okay now after the separation the water is passed to the another chamber where the another process is followed that is known as the greet removal okay now the greet can be inorganic and organic again those are quite heavy isn't it so it will always have a tendency to move downward direction due to the gravitational force also so the waste water is passed through those grid chamber in a very low speed as a result the grid which is heavier will settle down at the base of the grid chambers okay so the grid which is collected at the base of those grid chambers are collectively called uh, sludge both organic and inorganic as i said and the later it is separated from the water okay now after that another process is followed in the primary treatment only that is the coagulation or the flocculation okay now it is a chemical process now after the grid removal many microscopic uh, particles will be there which will remain suspended in the water okay now in order to remove those microscopic uh, particles or the materials aluminium sulfate is added to the water so it will react with those particles in the water and forms heavy precipitate it will become heavy okay so this agglomerated particles which is heavier now they will be separated by the process of sedimentation again okay so after the primary treatment is over it is passed through the another uh, passed through the another chamber where the secondary treatment is done it is a biological treatment okay now this is also essential because the organic matter which is present in the water will you know uh, reduce more amount of oxygen level when it is discharged into the lake pond or river okay so in order to avoid this problem again microscopic uh, organisms are also added okay so that uh, what happened is those organic matters which are added or you know the which are organic matters which are present in the uh, water will be consumed 
okay will be consumed by those uh, microorganisms okay which will reduce the demand of biological oxygen to the lower level now after this process is over the ter tertiary uh, treatment is also um, processed uh, is utilized which is also known as advanced treatment okay so in here in order to reduce that microorganisms or viruses which are present in the water okay uh, chlorine or you know bleaching powder is also added so because we need to remove those microorganisms also which can be harmful to the man and the other animals also okay now after the tertiary uh, treatment is over then the water is you know the filtered water is now ready to dispose or discharge in the lake pond or the river it can also utilize as in the agriculture and industrial processes also the next process is incineration now in this process the waste material is burned in the incineration chamber okay and uh, the heat which is generated through the burning of those waste material both organic and inorganic that heat is again converted into the uh, electricity also so this uh, method is quite uh, advantageous because it will also reduce the volume of the waste as well as we also you know it also helps in the generation of electricity also okay but it also comes with the disadvantage again the disadvantage is burning of those material will lead to the huge amount of smoke the another method is the use of scrubbers now this process is also very useful for the removal or the reduction of pollutants from the polluted gas and it consists of a spray tower okay basically fit to the industries so here in this uh, video you can see the smoke polluted gas or the smoke is passed through the packet material first okay specialized packet material and the nozzle which is present at the top of this packed material spray liquid on it okay and when those liquid will mix with the pollutants which are present in the gas okay it becomes heavy as a result what happens under the force of the gravity those uh, liquid along with the pollutants will drain into the base of those chambers then only the clean air will pass through the tower okay now this is also a very useful process in removing the pollutant from the contaminated gas use of a scrubbers is quite effective because it will release the air with the minimum pollutant so students i would like to conclude my video with a small question and you can answer it in the comment section now your question is so please do answer it thank you for watching until then take care stay safe